Oh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Green Dragon Brewing Company. Oh my gosh. Very exciting, everybody. Here we are in our, I think what it is, our fifth episode, which is crazy. Who'd have thought we'd get it to here, you know? Wild, wild stuff. Um, so just a few uh, note-keeping things before we uh, we jump into the podcast. Uh, uh, I do want to thank everybody who's uh, listened so far. I uh, really, really appreciate it. These episodes are a bit of a, pr- a passion project on my end, and so it's really cool to see the, uh, the analytics of some of the ed- episodes coming in. Um, we've, got, we've got some engagement, which I didn't think was going to happen, so um, very exciting on my end. Uh, that being said, I think um, I've got to put the push on on getting this uh, this podcast out to more and more people. So I'm going to call upon you, our loyal listeners. Um, hit us up on Reddit, subreddit Green Green Dragon Brewing Co. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at GDB Company. Uh, you could be accessing this through the uh, our YouTube channel. Uh, if you are, pass it along to your friends, uh, Green Dragon Brewing Company. We will post the link underneath. Um, you can find us for our podcasts on Breaker, Google Podcasts, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, and Spotify. Um, and we're also just going to ask for some fan interaction. Um, and you can email us directly at Green Dragon Brewing Company at gmail.com we want to hear from you we want to bring you into the uh into the episodes we uh this is a collaborative project i i I love to have um as many different people involved with it as i can this is a uh it's a cool place to be which makes it so cool that i had to say it out loud like that but i do think it is pretty cool that's all to say that we just want people to engage with us so Spread the word. GDB Company is where it's at. Okay? Um, If you're just tuning in for the first time, um, I'm going to say that's a strange spot, seeing as the episode is titled uh, Martha Part 2. But we'll give the uh, the quick update that uh, um, the group, as uh, as they were traveling um, away from Dyerdale, happened upon a uh, a new hero in the in the name of Donatello played by uh, my buddy Nolan um and uh they aided him in protecting a line of uh refugees it appeared uh from Stillerbach and uh upon questioning some of the uh the refugees uh they got information that Tinker Balls's mother was in the city uh, and some unknown disaster has occurred. So they are making their way there. And this is the final part of that session. Uh, so with that, let's go. Fantasy. Yeah. Okay. So you guys have that. Um, you guys have that information. I, have um, you told us about uh, this conversation, Tinkerbells? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I I tell everybody about the conversation. And like about your mother. Um. Have I told you guys about my mother? Yeah. You guys know a little bit about my mother because uh, of um. She came up in the the dream uh fight, right? She did. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I, I let you guys know that my my mother uh, my mother was in Stil- Stilabach. Uh, uh I haven't seen I haven't seen my mother in a long time, but uh, she uh, she's a good uh, not Christian not Christian woman. She's uh, uh, a good uh, uh, religious woman, uh, and uh, you know uh, apparently some some shit's gone down. So. Uh, I would love to get to Stillebach. Uh If you guys uh, need to go to Bancroft Harbor still, 
Uh, that's that's fair, and I will go a different way. But otherwise, I will go to Still Stillerbach. Uh, I think we should go to Stillerbach immediately. And I'm I good. will join you. Okay. Easy there, new guy. <laughs> <laughs> Easy there. I agree guy. that uh, uh, Stillerbach seems to be a, a place that uh, has many uh, roads leading to it. Um, and knowing a little hint that uh, the time of our arrival is important, it makes sense to me to not only find uh, uh, information about uh, um, Tinkerballs' mother, whose name is Martha, which is also the name of other people's mothers, uh, interestingly <laughs> enough. Not my own. I, I, have, I have nothing to do with any Martha's. But uh, we also have a contact now in Alenda, which is fantastic news. So... Yeah, so if we're all in agreement, then Stiller's Box should be our uh, 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 point of uh, uh, destination, host haste. That sounds good. I want to know about this blood. Sorry, what was that, Brian? Uh, it sounds good. I want to know about this. He wants to know about the flood, baby. Sure, If yeah. it's water, Brian wants to be there. Okay. Um, so we're, all right, we're everyone on the, on the ship, and uh, let us uh, depart. Okay, so you uh, you change your course from um, uh, Bancroft Harbor, and you um, you change your instead of traveling southwest, you um, it, you you head uh, more north than than west, but northwest, and um, you you continue along the uh, the road where you can, um, and as you. As you continue to travel, you continue to see just a massive line of people. Um, these what appear now to be just sort of homeless people continuing to walk uh, away from the city. Um, and as you get closer, unless you guys are doing anything, probably take you like... Uh, t -t 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 -t. two or three days to travel, so you guys can long rest if you want. <clears throat> okay. Pick up that long rest. Uh, 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 uh. Um, I think that I would, um, in the time that we're flying, I would, uh, uh, um, probably kind of in the in the mess hall, uh, and perhaps I would probably kind of let people know. Say, uh, um, I'm planning to speak briefly with Doctor Aki. If anyone wants to uh, join in via our Bluetooth uh, action, uh, so if anyone wants to uh, to to be part of that call, then they certainly can be, and I'd do it kind of like in the mess hall in a, in a fairly common area. Uh, nobody. Sorry, I, I, any of the PCs, you guys can answer if you want to be a part of that. I was muted. Um, I will, uh, I'll more listen in, but I, I'm going to be focused on, on, on thinking about my mother. Okay. Is that again, Jay? Um, so just in kind of a common area, I am going to, uh, and I'm going to let people know, I'm going to uh, make contact with Dr. Atke just to, to briefly have a discussion uh, with him of, of kind of what's going on. So anyone obviously is free to, to kind of be part of that. Yeah, I would yeah, uh, sit in with you. Nothing else going on. Okay, so you get you get your responses um, from those that are there. Uh, Fergus approaches you, Path, and he says, uh, um, uh, Captain, um, I'm not uh, not quite sure what we need to speak to Doctor Aki about. We're we're going to find Island, correct? Um, and I'll and I'll say to him, uh, yes, Island is uh, still in our minds. We've received word of a, of a devastating um, event in Stiller's Bach that not only um, impacts uh, Tinkerballs' mother in a very immediate way, but also uh, may have an impact uh, on uh, how uh, the Tarrasque itself uh, moves about this continent. And so we are following up on uh, that lead, uh, which we believe may have uh, information that we can use to uh, follow Island. 
Okay. He um he nods uh agreeingly and he says, "Oh, okay. Absolutely. What uh whatever whatever you need." Um and he and he um he goes back to his seat. Perfect. Um all right, so then I'll 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 uh, ring up Dr. Atke. The uh, hoy hoy. Uh, Doctor Aki, is, uh, is that you? Are you there? Hello. Yes, it's it's me. How how old are you? That's not his voice. Uh, Doctor Aki, it, it's it's uh, it's been yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's been uh, uh, an exceptionally uh, busy time for us. Um, and I wanted to touch base. Have you heard any news of the uh, the mainland continent since we departed? Oh no, um, my uh, my wonderful friend. Um, I've just been so busy with my projects here um, at my palace that I've been unable to uh, uh, connect with any of the mainland. Um, how are you? Is everything okay? You say you speak of a uh, an event. Is everyone all right? Um, Dr. Eki, something uh, uh, profound has happened. A, a tidal wave has struck Stiller's Bach and rendered uh, uh, hundreds, if not thousands, of its residents uh, homeless. Uh, we're, we're seeing them right now on the road um, seeking shelter. Uh, do you have any ideas on what might have uh, uh, caused this? Where, where, what, what, how this might have happened? It was tidal wave. That's right, exactly. It, 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 we have heard that it has uh, struck and flooded um, nearly the totality of Stiller's Bach. Oh, dear God, what a travesty. Um, there, uh, I have no idea what cruel fate would cause this, but I can assure you that I will immediately put down um, what I'm working on and send uh, my best efforts towards um, helping those that are still in the city if it still requires it. Are you uh, heading that there is now? Wonderful. We're heading there now. Any help that you're able to, uh, any information you're able to uncover, any help you may be able to provide will be very helpful. In fact, um, we have our own suspicions I'm wondering if you know uh, uh, um, another thing that has occurred. There has been an assassination of the king of Dyerdale, um, Alcide, the son of Artur, who was the previous, uh, uh, who was the heir to the throne and succeeded Artur, uh, was assassinated. Um, when uh, and we discovered this when we left you. Uh, and the reason I bring this up to you is the new ruler uh, from the rival family has a advisor and i know that uh, uh you uh, as a wizard and as a scientist uh, have have many contacts and men, much knowledge he is a a small uh halfling this advisor with a with a, a lengthy white beard and i'm wondering if that rings any bells for you uh, uh about who that might be oh, what grave news you bring me Alcide is dead Indeed, uh, uh, killed by a, a mysterious force, um, one that we are trying uh, to ascertain the uh, uh, um, uh, identity of, but have not had uh, luck yet. Hmm. So the new, this new ruler, Marlo, I believe he's associated with the Denbacks, correct? That's correct. Marlo, 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 quite, quite a beast, if I remember correctly. He's not a happy guy, that's for sure. No, quite, the rage flows through um, every part of that man's body. <clears throat> Indeed. Um, but he's, you, you speak of a halfling with a long beard. That's correct. Who seems to be uh, an advisor to him, perhaps with, more power over him than than a normal advisor would which is why i bring him up to you to see if it strikes a chord of knowledge uh in your mind and he he pauses on the phone 
there was... This was years ago. But there was a member at the Falling Star um, who went by the name of an, an Ulrich. An Ulrich von... Ah, what was his name? Uh, Ibsteig. Ulrich von Ibsteig. This may be the very same man. Is there anything you can tell us about this man, Dr. Atke? It would be uh, prove uh, exceptionally valuable, I expect. Uh, truthfully, I, I only heard of him by reputation, but he was, um, by all accounts, a very gifted wizard, uh, and one that enjoyed playing um, the political games. He made many connections at the Falling Star, uh, and... and uh, certainly was was able to um, navigate the student ranks there but since then he's uh, I haven't seen him or come across him in in my uh, uh, my political advising um, that I've been doing I, I wasn't even aware that he was in Diadale I just uh, mutter, mutter at this point uh, Fallen Star that's where uh, Paulson Huxtable was supposed to be right? Well, yes, it's the, the, the College of the of Wonders. All great wizards um, spend their time there. Dr. Aki, I, I, I thank you so much for, for answering our questions. Uh, I thank you so much for your insight and wisdom. I, I believe this will prove uh, quite valuable. Again, we are headed to Stillersbach at this very moment with, with all haste. And so any information that you uncover... Um, from uh, things like tidal waves or, or other will be exceptionally useful um, if you're able to uh, discover anything. Uh, again, thank you, uh, and if, we will be on our way. If there's anything else that you require of me, please do not hesitate. I will be, um, uh, I, I will attempt to help in the, in the best way I know how. Good luck. God's to be. I'll, I'll uh, click my teeth together. <clears throat> And uh, end the call. Nice. Uh, I'll also click my teeth together and and and. Uh, I yeah. uh, 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 if anyone's not with, like, I assume we're all together right now, right? Everyone's together. Yeah. Um, yeah. Aside aside from um, Donatello, I would say. Uh, let's bring Donatello uh, down here. See, he seems like a pretty stand stand up guy. Uh, sure. Probably, 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 uh, probably does machines or something. I don't know. Uh, it's a weird thing to assume about a turtle, but yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, anyways, um, there's like a couple of things that I am kind of thinking about. Uh, one of them. Did we ever mention to Doctor Aki that we saw his? Ground pounding seismic pump machine. I don't think so. No, we did not. You guys didn't. Um. And 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 this is, I guess, for um, Dave. Uh, what was the Morden prophecy again? What was um Morden prophecy? Yeah, what was the Morden prophecy again? Champion who rise to fight the Tarask. When when the seas reclaim their former domain. Nice. So is that like a tidal wave? Seems like. Was uh, was Stillerbach under sea level before? My coast. Hmm. By the Sturgeon Isle, so you know, like ground poundy thing. Yeah, and the other thing was was um we learned we there was like a brand. link between seismic activity and the Tarask, right? Pardon yeah, me? we uh, learned, I believe, that uh, uh, seismic activity has something to do with repelling, yeah. uh, sp somewhat specifically, the Tarask. 
And so there's a certain assumption that the machine that we saw at Dr. Atkey's, uh, the, the ground pounder, is likely a defense mechanism. But we don't know that. That's a, that's a bit of an assumption. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I might be getting a little too meta on this. Uh, Pat, is there any chance that my character would have any knowledge of the idea that seismic activity causes tidal waves? Or I'm not very smart, so probably not. Would your would your character have any idea that seismic activity would cause um, tidal waves? Tidal waves. Probably not. That seems like I, a stretch. It just feels like there's there's connections that I'm trying to form, but uh, I don't know that Nick would know that. That okay. seems like a lot. I'm not I'm not gonna have said that. Uh, okay. The the about the idea that tidal seismic activity causes tidal waves. Jay, I think you're uh, frozen. <laughs> no, he's just super stoked. Uh, <laughs> very <laughs> stoked. Um, okay, yeah. So, yeah, just... Um, yeah, calling Dr. Aki just kind of reminded me about the Morden prophecy where, like, the seas re reclaim their former domain, tidal wave has come in. And so you I think do... that, that seems significant. And and I do feel like... I don't know, just that that room of Dr. Aki's and, and seismic activity and the Tarrasque and it just feels significantly connected somehow yeah. absolutely um you you can do you can do an arcan not an arcana um history check okay on the on the prophecy if you want because i think you were I... told about it right yeah can i give myself guidance on this yeah yes is that how it got you? It's any ability check, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rock and roll. I I just sometimes wonder narratively if people allow me, so I feel like I'll check most of the time. Uh, I appreciate uh, that. What is my history? Nothing. <laughs> my history is nothing. <laughs> Not that. bad, though. Um... You, you are fairly certain that the reclamation has already already occurred. Um, with the understanding that if you think the Tarasque to be the um, this uh, from from what was the what was said, if you think the Tarasque is to be some sort of like. Um, herald of of the deep or or, so, or something like that you know that the tarrasque appeared um 150 years ago at the destruction of harrow's bay in something that was called the reclamation okay uh, i yeah, I know that the, the Tarrasque appeared. Was there any, um... There was no record of, like, tidal wave with the Tarrasque appearing, right? With that history check? Pardon me? With that history check and with what we've read, there was no, like, record of, like, a tidal wave uh, uh, appearing at the same time as the Tarrasque? Um... I don't know. Um, no, it, it, it's it, the history is pretty, pretty clear that it was the 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 creature was the most important piece of information that was like remembered. Okay. Um, sorry, remind me why was it called the reclamation? Uh, it's just what history has called it. Let me. Harrow's Bay no longer. Uh, protecting the continent due to the events that the common folk now call the reclamation so it seems to be just like uh, a name that was like adopted by um folk legends and and just generations passing the tale down from one to another okay uh, uh yeah that's i mean i i i don't think i have too much more beyond that just some Food for thought for connections as we're as we're getting to this as we're getting to Silver's box. 
Okay, uh, so I think you guys oh. were calling in um, uh, uh, Donatello at this point, correct? Or is he already there? Yes. Yeah, I'm fine with Donatello being part of the, all, all of that. Uh, we haven't we haven't caught him up to speed. I mean, uh, yeah, we'll we'll catch him up to speed on on everything in the same way that. Uh, I don't, probably right. Do we? Do we all? Like, can I incite him? He seems like it's. Does he seem like a stand-up guy? Um, well, if my action speed. It's me. actually he speaks. He, he he seems like a uh, uh, you know, a guy that likes to push people over, and we could use a pusher. <laughs> <laughs> so, life's been pushing a little bit too hard right now. You could use a little bit of that. We could we could <laughs> use we you could know what we need here. We could use some pushback. <laughs> Uh, we need we need drugs. We need a pusher. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, um, uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, like I think that like it it would make sense to me to to fill him in since we're taking him to uh, uh, you know to some shitty things uh, and you know let him know kind of more or less everything you know if if, if there's any particular things that people want to hold back from uh, Donatello, that's fine. But but I'll I'll kind of fill him in on the general uh, shit. Of, of what we're doing uh, in the same way that we had already done. So, okay. are you guys hunting a Tarask? Did I hear that? No, right? it, uh, <laughs> not not formally, no. Uh, it has been brought up that there is like a general quest uh, to hunt the Tarask, yeah. uh, which is like called the Great Beast. Um, oh, we are not hunting it. It, it does uh, keep coming up in so when we uh, when we were we went to Doctor Aki initially to like I I had um, uh, I'd been cursed because <laughs> I uh, killed a guy and made a necklace of his teeth. And, um, yeah, I, I was a whole thing. This guy sucked. The guy sucked. Uh, <laughs> and so, so we we went to Doctor Aki. To um, to see if we could break the curse, and he uh, he had this like dream technology that sent us into like um, uh, into like our uh, my subconscious, uh, and uh, I kicked Bluetooth ass and uh, trapped him in my brain. It was dope. Um, and then uh, we were doing like research in Doctor Aki's libraries. Um, and, like, the terrasse kept coming up in, like, all of the things that we're doing. So we're trying to, like, we were basically there to try to stop the war. And, uh, and kind of everything that we were researching uh, in terms of, like, the history stuff uh, seemed to keep coming back to um, Harrow's Bay, uh, uh, this guy, uh, Cater, uh, who's, like, a necromancer. Um, and the terrasque and, and kind of uh, things around the reclamation and, and the, the, the Harrow's family that used to be in charge of everything as well. And so there's like, there's connections that we haven't really formed, but we know that those events are informing like the shit that's going on that keeps dragging us back in right now. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And apparently... Maybe have something to do with Killer's Bach. Currently, no. Uh, we also found this, like, um, or, or I think, uh, in particular, um, Atha Well had found this uh, uh, talisman thing, brooch, whatever, uh, that was like a fake uh, version of, of the uh, ruling family, the Balmonts of Killer's Bach. And so there's some shit going on with Stiller's Bach that's like, maybe they're under attack. It's very confusing. They're also definitely vampires. <laughs> <laughs> so. Huh. There's there's a lot of different things going on, and it's 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 hard for me to keep straight, and I've been playing it. <laughs> you guys just gotta take oh. notes. You figure it out if you write it all down. Oh, is that is, is that how it is? That's all it is. If we just all write, is. write it all down. Um, 
Okay, so you guys have all collected together. You've spoken at length about pretty much anything that you guys wanted to in terms of, like, everything that Pat just said and um, moving forward. So is there any... Can we can we skip ahead to arriving at the city, or do you guys want to do something else? No, I think that's good. Go oh. Yeah, good to arrive okay. at the city. Okay, so um, as you approach the city the morning that you approach it um you see in the air uh a smoke rising from the uh from where the city should be and, and large large a uh, large plume of it um, Stiller's Bach? in into uh into stiller's Bach. Yeah. it um seems that there's fire fires are raging and the uh, as you approached it the line of people exiting still uh um continued it seemed to be never ending um and at, even as you approach the city now there still appears to be um people exiting or leaving uh not in, as the large group the the grouping sort of would uh, assemble a ways down the road but uh currently where where you're at uh people are running out of the city and um just seeking to get away um you are approaching from the south side, so this is the opposite. Um, actually, I planned for this. <laughs> oh, fuck me. So you're... Um, so it's not exactly the same, but you, you, you recognize the docks from your initial arrival? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll give... Uh, uh, I'll... I'll, uh, I'll That's give... your retcon, Pat. A Bluetooth in case we get uh, rated. Okay. Uh, uh, this is and, the thing that allows me to communicate with you? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Um, so you gotta attune it, though. Just in it's a tooth. Long. It's it's literally a Bluetooth. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's gotta be <laughs> attuned. Um, so you're looking for a carcanet in, um, of Bluetooth on D&D Beyond. Um, so, yeah, as you, as you approach the city... Um, it is uh, clearly in disarray from the last time that you saw it. Um, the pristine white buildings and sort of uh, um, majestic look that it had it has been replaced with uh, clear, like death, destruction, um, and. Uh, the city the city looks unrecognizable um yeah so the city the city looks uh like it's in it's in trouble and you're approaching from the gate this time what do you do um i'm gonna suggest uh, uh to our crew that we uh, uh smack the fog button and uh and, and land on the far side of stiller bog uh in order that we are not overrun with uh, individuals hopeful to take uh, our boat as a trip uh, away yeah. from Stiller Bach. Yeah, yeah I, I very much agree. I, I feel bad. Uh, oh, I absolutely. feel just, just terrible. terrible. Maybe we can uh, take one, it Once we get safe, then we can act high and mighty because they scared us off the first time. Um, yeah, they, they did this themselves. I yeah, agree. You, yeah, you deserve this. We can walk in to say that. You, you fucked up. Okay, Daphnor, let's calm it down. God damn it! <laughs> that wasn't Daphnor. That was that was player Daphnor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was Daphnor. <laughs> that uh, was not my uh, Daphnor voice. Calder so we're gonna uh, on the yeah. Calder says that he can keep the the ship uh, in the air if you needed to. Okay, then uh, drop us off on the far should, side of the city. We rappel down. Yeah. So is that uh, is that is that gate side or is that um is that uh. Uh, dockside. So if we're yeah, so we want to uh, get to dockside and then and then uh, uh, all uh, uh, make our leave, uh, so that we're kind of uh, in on the far side of uh, assumptively pretty much everybody in the city is heading south. We want to get to the north side, the docks, uh, get out, and, and he can keep it in the air. Fantastic, it's great. Yeah. Okay. Um, so so you recognize the uh, the docks uh, in the light of day from your uh, from your previous visit. Um, 
It, uh, talk it's, about it. it spans out in its uh, its floating fingers. Um, but Calder brings the the ship around, and he uh, he brings you onto the uh, uh, the docks, and you can depart from the boat. Hey, sidebar. Maybe not sidebar. Is there a a, a giant ladder? That this ship has, you know, it's a flying ship. I'm wondering if if uh, if our boy Jaggertides had already thought of the idea of disembarking from the air. wasn't uh, wasn't Jaggertides, but Calder uh, actually had made the addition. So huh. there's a nice there's a nice rope ladder that uh, I didn't even floor. need it. Fucking use a rope. <laughs> no, it's, it's embarrassing. Super embarrassing. All right, well, let's use the, the ladder. And, and uh, scale down. Yep. So you all, uh, you all are on the deck or the docks, um, in actually like the very same place that you were the first time. Ah, that's fun. Um, for you, uh, for you, Donatello, the um, Stiller Stiller Bach is not a place that you visited before, but it's um, it's a. Uh, a city that that is colored with ivory, um, a lot of white buildings with sort of golden um, edging to it, I guess. Uh, and and uh, the city looks beautiful, and in the dark, it, it is equally as beautiful. But it is it's certainly not um, any welcoming colors. It uh, plays with the shadows, and um, it's gotcha. like, it's very cold. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so you're on the deck. You uh, you know that you have to go to the the end of the deck or the dock, and then you can you get on that main um, that main boulevard in the city. Uh, so Tinkerbell's uh, Tinkerballs. 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 Uh, where does your mother live? Uh-huh. Hi. I've never, uh, I haven't seen my mother in, in decades. Uh, so I, I didn't know she was in Stiller. I didn't, wait. Did I know she was in Stillerbach? I'm not from nope. Stillerbach, but I nope. think my mother's here. You know her uh, to be a, a bit of a wandering spirit in her own right. Yeah. So you not knowing exactly where she is is not um, not unusual for you. Yeah, I, I didn't know where she was. She's, uh, she, she moves we move we, we kind of go around i i spent a very long time uh in the middle of nowhere i was uh away from everyone for many years so i didn't know she was here i don't know where she lives okay uh, i well i guess uh i guess we'll have to just search for her then. yeah let's... as you um as you I'm... As you move into the the main boulevard, can everybody do a? Um, uh, You're a boozer. An intelligence check. No, uh, yeah. Rather not. Oh, I, was well, getting, the, I was getting yelled at buying a new bottle of whiskey. Nice. Paul, well, the one thing I will yeah. share with you about uh, about Pathowell is that he uh, has an urchin background, which may be uh, of note here. The the it does. I obviously still do the intelligence check depending on what's up, um, but it notes that when I am not in combat, uh, me and the companions that I lead can travel between any two locations in uh, the city twice as fast as uh, speed would normally allow. So, oh, look at just you. Tuck, that in, tuck that into your brain bucket. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Um, sorry. What? What were the uh, the intelligence? Oh, somebody got a nat twenty. David Letterman did. It knows all. David, David Letterman. Letterman. David knows all. Intelligence. No one S. So smart. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So none of you, all of you are kind of focused on the, um, uh, the, inte- the finding, finding Martha. Um, I'm not sure why you got the plus three, plus two on that path. Yeah. Neither am I. I should just have a plus three. Okay. I, it, it's, yeah. it's all very good. I actually will give it to Donatello path. And definitely David Letterman. Um, oh, and Tinkerballs. Um, you find it extremely strange that the docks look like they have no damage to them. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> uh, is there, 
when we flew over the city, did it look like there was like an epicenter to the damage? It looked like it certainly came like a wave from the wa- the the water and across the city. There can it, I there... Do, can I do like an Arcana check? To feel like if this like it, if it is if it's like a magical kind of thing or sure, versus yeah. a nat- or or a nature check either one like I don't really uh, uh it's got to you you got to decide that because those are two different checks I mean I well there it's the same your yeah, a nature a nature check you're you're saying could it could a tidal wave do this and yeah an Arcana, Arcana check I'm is just, I'm just gonna go with a nature check okay this, this one. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like a lot of damage. Enough damage that would be caused by a natural event. That's weird that the docks didn't get hit, but this does look like a tidal wave to me. <laughs> All the telltale signs of a tidal wave. There's water. There's water. Uh, there's beside the ocean. Uh, no, it could have been a tidal wave. Yeah, you ask me. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll but- jump in on... Uh, if I may, I will jump in on the Arcana uh, check, uh, noting it is exceptionally strange that although Stiller's Bach uh, is a, a seaside uh, city, um, I would expect the uh, docks, which you know aren't necessarily the most uh, uh, sound of structural um, uh, buildings, to have no damage while the rest of the city, as we saw, lies in ruin. Correct. Sure. Was that who was that a question for? No, that was uh, you. That was just that was me giving my reason for an Arcana check. Oh yeah, sorry, Jay. I totally zoned out. I was thinking about something else that I that I'll get to right after this. <laughs> Why were you doing an Arcana check? <laughs> for the tidal uh, wave. For the so, tidal so, wave. So glad for the tidal wave. So specifically in noticing that uh, you know docks are not as strong as other buildings within the city but seem to have suffered no damage. I think that is unnatural. And, and so I'm looking, uh, so an arcana check to see, um, uh, yeah, recognizing the, the strangeness of it and seeking to understand more. You can't, you can't, um, you can't figure out why the docks were spared. It honestly, uh, the modern day comparison that I'll make is when you hear about like, houses being picked up by tornadoes and then being like placed down 20 miles away or something like that without like a scratch on them except for the fact that they've been like ripped up from their foundation but right they land like upright and all that stuff i'm sure that's happened 100 percent um but it's it's kind of you're you're just like man this I, I can't explain this through magic or, or anything else. Like it doesn't, doesn't look like that. Um, David Letterman, I forgot I had to give you an extra, an extra bonus. Um, you know that it isn't a tidal wave. What's happened to the no, city. Not. And you, um, you I've actually, seen this before? you've seen it in your studies with, uh, um, Audrey. Yeah, what did I call him? Morden? 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 Yeah. Um, he changed his name slightly or something. Okay. Yeah. Can you, um, can you make a, uh, um, a wisdom save for me right now? Wisdom. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, you start hearing almost like a siren song in your head. And instead of following them out to the boulevard, um, you're drawn back to the edge of the deck or the dock looking out mm-hmm. into the ocean. And as you peer uh, into the, the vastness, you squint and, and search the horizon. And as you're scanning, you kind of lose your consciousness and... Uh, and your your eyes close, and you're no longer you're 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 not even in control of your body anymore, as you um, as you appear or as you're seeing um, underwater. You're not sure whose body you're in. You're not um, you're not sure what you're seeing. Uh, you're not sure where where you're looking from. But you see 
the creature or, or, or whatever you are is moving up and it breaches the water in all this uh, from um, sorry and water goes everywhere can everybody else make a perception check that's a oh, no. one for me another one <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck Nolan ones are out, out of control I think mine should be 21, but it's showing a 19. Okay, let me... Uh, I'm just getting something ready right now. Um, let me just pull it up. Uh, we got a 9... It says you rolled a 16, Jay. You got that? You yeah, got that okay. Figured out? Yeah, that's um, weird. Yeah, so 19 in the end. But yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, Tinkerballs and uh, Path Owell, you see in the distance a massive mountain of water erupt um or 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 you hear you hear a large um splash from from behind you towards the water it way off in the distance right um uh we'll we'll go back we'll go back to uh Um, we'll go back to uh, David Letterman. Um, your vision continues as um, the water clears away from your eyes and you can see yourself. You you now see you're looking at Stillerbach from the water. That great distance? If Over that great distance. And you let out... Um, this awful howl. Um, every everybody can hear the howl on Stiller's uh, on Stiller Bach. The creature uh, that I am not like entranced. Dave at the dock is how, who's howling. Dave is still in the creature. The Dave is David is still. David is on the dock. David is not howling. Um, for those of you that aren't in the vision. Um, the howling pierces across the water and you hear this like ungodly like <laughs> and In, um, insert Godzilla noise <laughs> and you see to your horror the Tarask has emerged oh, from the water <clears throat> David with that, that noise wakes you out of your vision, and you realize um, you can actually make a uh, a religion check. Good enough. Nice roll. With that, all right, 18, all right. You, what you, you just experienced was the Tarask imprinting on you. Oh, interesting. And you know that this to be the fulfillment of the prophecy, um, and that you are now, uh, you have been branded the Relentless Wave. Relentless Wave? I personally have become the Relentless Wave. And this is exactly what Morden thought you would become. <laughs> um. And with that, you know that the um, the Tarask is aware of that as well, and will now stop at nothing until you are dead. Right. <laughs> um, do we have to fight it now? I think I have to fight it. Uh, you wish. <laughs> what? Uh, you guys got um. You you can do an intelligence check. Okay. Roll a d20. Good enough to know you are fucked. Yeah. You need to get away. Yeah, I need to. We need to go. We need to go. How far are we from the ship right now? The ship. The ship is still floating. I'm sorry, take your balls, but your mom's got to wait. We gotta go. How far away is wait wait what why do we have to go? 
didn't you hear that thing? That thing's coming for me. We heard. I heard the thing. What was the thing? Was that the? Was that the? Was that the thing? It's the thing, man. It's the goddamn Tarask. The fucking Tarask. What is it? Is is the is the Tarask what caused the tidal wave? It's coming for us. It's yeah. Well, it's. Would there. I know what a Tarask is? Uh, or is that is that common knowledge? Yeah, I would you say so. It's, you know it's like the, the great beast. We know that it destroyed Harrow's Bay. We know that it's been like uh, unkillable for hundreds of years. Okay. So I won't suggest we just stand and kill it. <laughs> no, I don't you, kill as it. you guys, as you guys are talking, you see, you see Fergus yell oh. over the over the side. He says, "We have to go. We need to leave. We're not safe." Let's go. What? Can I? Do we have to leave Silver? Like, can we go but in with the Silver? Like, it's so hard. To, I don't know where my mother would even be. We can't. So, Pat. If, yeah. Can I just grab like two people closest to me and start like sprinting and like dragging them back to the ship? <laughs> yeah, you can. Okay, I'm gonna grab have to... whoever's close to me and just start running to the ship. Also, ready, running to the ship. You'll, um, if anybody is okay I... being grabbed, it, it'll happen. Um, if you're not uh, okay being grabbed, you have to, it'll have to be a st- opposite, opposing strength check. If it's you me, know that I'm not, not, you know that I'm not, me, I will not grabbed. be okay being dragged. Sorry, what was that, Pat? If it's me, I will not be okay being dragged. Yeah. Okay, so you'll have to make a ta- you'll have to make a strength check on both. Well, I mean, if it's, if it's, um, if it's Dave and, and Pat, that's fine. He said the people closest. Yeah, I don't really know where we're all standing is the thing. Sorry, yeah. Um, So it's... uh, I I will roll... um, I'm going to roll a d6. Um, Sign it, he's a number. Pat, you're going to be 1 and 4. Dathrenor, you're going to be 2 and 5. And... um, uh, uh, Tinkerballs, you're going to be... It knows, yeah... Sorry, who haven't I got? That's it. There's four. Path There's is four three. Us. Why don't you roll a d4 for the four of us? Uh, yeah, I guess. Is this two? Sorry. No, path, path, David path. Letterman isn't with us. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So, Letterman... Tinkerballs, Tinker Balls, you're going to be one and four. <laughs> Dathrenor, you're going to be two and five. And Path, you're going to be three, uh, three and six. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so Tinkerballs and Path, you are both grabbed. I fight that. Okay. Uh, uh, so Donatello. Strength or athletics? Uh, it'll be athletics. It'll be athletics, sorry. Okay. I have advantage okay. uh, on athletics versus being grappled. Okay. Are those saves or just straight throws? Just straight throws. They're opposing. Okay, so I only have a 12. Nat 20. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, don't tell me if it's the answer yet, because I could use Lucky. I'm done. You don't have to do anything. Death. Death, it's not, yeah, it's not, it's, it's not you. Death, you're oh, fine. Oh, it's not me? No, oh, it's Oh, I think it's me. Nope. Oh, Pay attention. Oh. You guys, your name's uh, rhyme, so that's... It's oh, path, path. that's what fucked me then. <sighs> okay, Terry. <laughs> so, Path, have you made your? Uh, or are you are you uh, opposing it? I'm not. He he said uh, get to the ship, so he's grabbed me. I also uh, desire and intend to go to the ship, so I'm kind of let it happen. I've I've leaned back and thought of England. Okay, <laughs> that sounds good. Um, uh, Tinker balls, you have resisted. Um, you have resisted the the grapple, and you've moved out of arm's reach of uh, of Donatello. Now is your opportunity to make your decision. Yeah. So Dave, David said that the Trask yeah. is after us. Uh, 
No, David said the Tarrasque is after him. I don't. I think he said us in what he said to us, though. And he said the uh, Tarrasque is after me. I think he did yeah. say it was after me. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> and it's right here. <laughs> and it's the Tarrasque. I'll listen to the recording Tarrasque. after. Tarrasque is after me. <laughs> uh... If my mother is alive, which I don't know, it's better for me to go to the ship. I'm gonna resist the grapple, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It's your mom, I'm, man. Gonna, it's your mom. See if the Tarask's mom is named Martha. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this joke. <laughs> That's my favorite. The Snyder Cut is coming out today. No, I'm not gonna. Snyder Cut is coming of Justice League, not Batman Superman. That's always gonna be there. And I'm not with Dave. I'm gonna go into the city. I think there's gonna be four Marthas in the Snyder Cut of Justice League. Yeah, there'll be four fucking Marthas. Okay, so Tinkerball so is headed into the city. And I'm gonna yell, Where's Martha? Why did you say those names? As Where's Martha? Said? Where, mom? Um, okay. Uh, the rest of you return to the deck of sh- the deck of the ship. Uh, and take your balls. Running, What's that? While I'm running. While I'm running, I want to like attack Doctor Aki on the Bluetooth and tell him that the Tarask is here. And like, what the fuck? Nice. I know you know what is happening. Oh. Wait. You know you you. You're telling him, yeah, because I saw all like the the Morden stuff and like you know read his history and stuff. The no. the research of it. Yeah. Okay. Shit. He doesn't Ooh. respond. Uh, oh, you moment. dick! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dr. Aki, you son of a bitch. Um, as the, the 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 core of you return to the ship, uh, you guys can see that Fergus is freaking the fuck out. He's like, "We gotta go," and he's on Calder. He's like, "Get us out of here." Seen this before? Uh, Calder is the captain. Calder's yeah. the, the the yeah the the, the, the pilot. The pilot, uh, yeah. yeah, not the captain. Okay. No, not, not the captain. The I <laughs> am the captain now. <laughs> I mean, you've been the whole time. The Look at pilot. Time. The pilot. Excuse me. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna run over to Calder and say, uh, "Tinkerballs ran into the city. Uh, can we fly over and throw the ladder to him?" Uh, uh, is this my? I'm gonna, is this my? I'm gonna uh, y- yell at Fergus and say, "What should? W- what do we do?" And and he is he is um, he is losing it right now. He's like, oh, "We gotta go." We can't stay. <laughs> We're not safe. Uh, uh, so I will. Uh, I will look to color and say, uh, "Take us uh, 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 into the city at low level. We need to see if we can find Tinkerballs." It's like on my captain's orders, and he uh, he he takes the ship off and he starts um, moving into the city. Uh, is anybody getting up on the crow's nest or anything like that? Uh, I'm going to get on to uh, the the rear heavy uh, um, crossbow. The remaining turret. I'll I'll be on the crow's nest, but I'm also going to bring a rope up there. Yep. Get on the front crossbow. Okay, you guys. Uh, Donatello, you don't have a location on the ship, but. Um... You're... Can can I um can I just like tie a rope around my waist and then the other end to the side of the ship, like the railing? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Okay, I'll just need you to make a uh, a sleight of hand check for me. Yeah, very nice. You do. Um, we'll use that as the same one. You you tie it to yourself. You tie it to uh, um. You tie it, tie it to the railing. Seems like everybody's in 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 their spot. Um, we'll go to uh, we'll go to Tinker Balls. Um, you're rushing into the city, and everything uh, you see 
lots of destruction. You see uh, debris. You see buildings that are just like barreled over. Um, but you've got you've got a focus. Uh, I rip out a hair and I cast uh, locate creature. Oh, very nice. Can you post that spell? Oh, we had it ready. I did. <laughs> that is great work, Pat. What creature are you locating? Uh, Martha. His mom. Your yeah, mom's a creature. Yeah, mom. <laughs> Your mom's a creature. I said, I yelled, uh, I she's a beast. Martha. <laughs> Martha. Um, yeah. Martha. Not only, um, not only do you know, do you get her location, um, but I. Th- yeah, you know what? Like, because I, because I don't think this. You know, you know that she's uh, she's not only here, but she's alive still. But her I, her ener- her energy or whatever the the magical force that you're using to, to pick it up, um, it seems it, like that life force is waning. I tear ass in that direction. Okay, yeah. Um, I honestly don't even think you need to make a roll for it. Uh, you just you just do it, uh, and you come across. Uh, we'll move you guys out of the way because we don't need we don't need you yet. You come across a uh, a cart with a whole bunch of uh, uh, books, and you know that she is in this building. Uh, I run in this fucking okay. song. You see her. Um, the building has like semi collapsed, and you see that there's like a wooden beam on top of her. Uh, we'll go back to uh, the ship. Are you are you shadowing Tinker Balls on the silver bullet, everybody? I think we'd be looking for him. I was in the crow's nest for some reason. We'd be looking out for. Yeah, yeah so if you're on the cr- start, so I don't know if we could see him. If you're on the crow's nest, you're are you looking for Tinker Balls? Or are you looking at the the Tarask? No, I'll be looking for him, I think. He's okay. been the only one who's really stood by my side. Yeah, Make I kind a, of uh, told Calder to shadow him, like to, 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 to find Tinkerball slash, like we're going to kind of keep low level, so I think that's kind of the, the intent. Make a uh, make a perception at advantage. Perception at advantage. 16, 17? Uh, yeah, you saw him, um, you saw him head in the direction and you managed to uh, keep up with him. Um, I would um, probably not bellow. I would Bluetooth to whoever's at the wheel. Yeah, definitely Calder. Calder's like, I, I I'll follow. Uh, he's very, he's very. Uh, and he uh, listens short to me. You. He's short with yeah, okay. you. But he listens <laughs> with Calm you. down. <laughs> All right. So I would tell him that way. Uh, west northwest forty five. Okay. Direction. You see him. Uh, you see him disappear into a building. Do I see the building? Yeah, you see the building, and as you see okay. him disappear, uh, yeah. you notice another uh, creature poke its head out of the building. No, of the uh, of the alley and street, and it seems to uh, have been following. Okay. Um. Every, everybody, roll advantage. Uh, in, in, um, <laughs> not initiative. 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 Uh, I can't help out by saying anything up there. Get down there. You you, you kind of use your um your ability. To, uh, yeah. No, sorry. This is the you would yell, and this is why everybody's okay. like, "What's happening?" Okay. <clears throat> Don't you fuck me? Oh, you fucked me. Uh, I got a nine for initiative. Why am I rolling fucking fractions? Yeah, that's weird. That's hilarious. <laughs> Does two point oh eight round up to anything? <laughs> two point oh eight initiative in. <laughs> um, you might have hit like a, a dice setting. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> that's so strange. Oh fuck! That's funny. It's really funny. Like one of the compounded things or something. I don't know. No, that's empty. <laughs> Weird. 
Oh, fuck, that's funny. Oh, okay. my mom, guys. <laughs> you gotta find your mom. Gotta find my mom. I'm so glad that locate creature spell existed. So I while I was yeah. up in the crow's nest, this sure. would kick off then. I wouldn't have a chance to get down. I'm still up in the crow's nest. Uh, correct. David Letterman. Uh, Dath, what did you roll? I, like, I don't even know. Uh, a 2.08. I don't... Okay. Well, that's... I'm I have two decimal it. places for reasons I'm, that I can't tell I'm you. I'm going to take it as is, and that means you <laughs> are going to... But I... So th things would kick off as I'm in the crow's nest. I have no chance to get down. Uh, correct. The ship level at least. Okay. Oh, uh, am I a, uh, a fire cleric or a water cleric? Presumably in a tidal wave situation, I'd be a water cleric. Yeah, that's fair. Donatello is a six. Come on, new guy. Listen, I, I do one thing. <laughs> one thing only. Uh, the Heineken of people. David Letterman. Your turn. Uh, okay. So I yell, where is Martha? <clears throat> Don't you know she's in the building? I don't know where she. Oh is. no, David Letterman. Letterman, sorry. He doesn't know. I saw him run in. Wait, so I follow. We want to follow Tinker Balls into the building and then yell, "Where's my You're gonna follow Tinker Balls into the building? Yeah. You're on the ship, eh? Right. You gotta jump like right. thirty feet down. Okay. Didn't we have the? They had the rope ladder down, right? Yeah. They had said like yeah. ready, like prepared to like pick me up. Yeah. yeah. You don't know that we're doing that, right? Yeah, like you're just in the building. I don't know anything. He doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, in the interest of getting him out quickly, I would like to go down and get him. I can spider climb down, which would be fun. So it's I just won't. a matter you can the 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 ladder probably goes about like um, ten feet of the way. Oh, and okay. then you'd have another 20 feet that you could fall and you could try and um, not take any damage from. But at this point, you would be taking damage. Okay. Would, oh. But try not to take. It would be easiest way down, I guess. Yeah, I would. Would I not take damage from it? You can try and like a a athletics or acrobatic, like roll your way out of it as you hit the ground tuck and roll, you know? Mm -hmm. I have this grasp of the deep thing that I can cast 60 feet in 60 feet of myself. Okay. Uh, and it's a 10 foot long tentacle that is supposed to be like melee attacks, melee spell attacks, but could I use it to catch myself? <laughs> uh, you could. It would have to succeed on its attack. Yeah. Okay. I like that though. Okay, I'm going to do that. I take possibly 1d6 of damage, but also possibly get caught. So I'm going to say I'm going to say for you to cast that spell and for yeah. you to do, you, you're not going to be able to use the ladder. You're going to have to jump. <laughs> but I think All it's right. super fucking cool. All right, I'm going to try jumping. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Dave, so the, Dave's all in. So you uh you summon the ship or, or you jump off the ship, you summon the tentacle. The tentacle has to beat your AC. So I don't know what bonuses oh, it gets. No. It is 15. Probably your spell attack. What did I just do? You posted the spell. Oh. Weird. I thought I hit rolling the dice okay. I just did that again. Okay, so... What should I do? You gotta Maybe roll a d20, attack. plus add your spell attack. And we'll, we'll ignore the damage. But if you miss, you're taking 3d6. Right. Huh. My spell attack is 8. 8. Nice. There you go, baby. And just you just fuck, you fucking swan dive off. Uh, and your <laughs> I've tentacle, done this a million times. 
yeah, your tentacle just erupts from the ground and snatches you out of the air and puts you on the ground. Turns out, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna follow into the building next turn, I guess. Yeah, next turn. So we'll go to, um, we'll go to uh, Path. It's your turn. My turn. Yeah. But the whole Can way we gotta... yelling Martha. <laughs> Martha! <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, can we get uh, a quick little look see on the map of where everyone's at, including our uh, our weird other creature? Uh, David Letterman just landed pretty much right there. Um, I'm not doing a very good job of updating this, so I apologize. I need to get okay. a. Um... Sorry, should I be in the building? Yeah, I think so. so. You should be in the. Can you throw like a rectangle down? You can draw for the boat. Um, I'll just cluster everybody. The boat is like yeah, floating cool. right, right here. Oh, okay. Um, and the other, I need the creature oh, wow. is on the other side of the uh, the road. Dopeness. Um, can I? Uh, do I have a? Uh, am I able to uh, uh, shoot um, the creature? Uh, with my uh, my large uh, 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 um, shit, what's it called? Crossbow Ballista? turret. Yeah, yes, yeah, you turret. May. You you may fantastic. Make I uh, I will do that. Uh, so it's plus eight for this one. Uh, and on the D twenty, is it plus eight as well? Yes. Yeah. Great. It's gonna be a big hit. All right. Remember, so this is two D twelve. Yes. Yeah, two D twelve. The big ballista has um, ha it's it's double loaded, so you can have two shots with it before reloading. Great. Holy shit! Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Nuts. Yeah. So you Fuck pierce that. it. You pierce it nicely. Um, I just have to double check. What were you shooting at? What was I? There is. So we saw. Yeah, we saw a monster poking its head out across the street. Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah. And I was faced backwards already because I was kind of keeping an eye on the terrace per se. So I, you know, able to see it, and so then I was ready, locked and loaded to just uh, unload and unload. I did. What was the two D twelve plus? Jesus. damage yeah so Jesus. That, yeah that's that's the large uh one of the two well i guess just the one large turret because the other one got smashed but uh mm -hmm. that's the large turret whereas the the smaller crossbows on the side on the far ends of the ship are a 2d uh, eight plus five so i i okay. specifically chose the big one for this yeah uh great stuff yeah you did great stuff uh we'll go to tinkerballs all right you uh, is our homie can I, can I sorry, is our homie still alive? Oh yeah. That that seemed to have hurt him, but he also seems very strong. He's also uh, much larger than the impression I gave him. <laughs> okay. Uh can I do a perception check? Yeah. I'll just give it to you actually. What are you looking for? I just want to know what what I'm seeing. So your your mother is um trapped underneath a big piece of timber. Um and and she she seems to uh, be confused at what she's looking at, which is you. Sad. Do I think that my mother is very very strong? No, she's not. No. Okay. All right. I will not do that then. Um, uh, uh, the beam is it load bearing? Like if the beam is destroyed. Will the beam has look? has fallen from the, the the collapsed building that it's in, but it's yeah. fallen on top of your your mother. So it's no, it's not really connected to anything. It's just very heavy and on top of her. Do I think that destroying the beam would be uh, uh, simpler than lifting it off of her? I, I think it's a matter of what you're trying to do. Spells. There's so many spells. I don't know. To, I don't know how to save my mother. I thought that I had a spell, and, that, and then and then things got confusing. 
Um, I mean, like you're, you know, tight. You're up against the clock on this one. You got to act quick. Yeah, I'm going to pull out my hammer, and uh, basically, what I'm trying to do is, um, wait, is a beam considered difficult terrain? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I want to basically try to smash the beam and 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 sh and and kind of shove in a way where like I can uh, uh, basically take her place. Uh, like try to try to like smash it and shove her to the side. Uh, you can try. Okay. Um. I wish I had fire spells today. <laughs> oh, this sucks. My spells aren't good for this. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to attack the beam. Attack away. All right. Uh, you hit it. This thing doesn't budge. As a bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Word on my mother. Okay. Yep. She will heal for... Okay. That's fine. Um, and that was a, at a second level. But I was Sounds good. And that's uh, that's everything I can do right now. Okay. Um. So uh, we f we flip back to the creature that's just been pierced with the the mega bolt. Um. He looks up at the the ship. Um. And shoots this stream, this jet stream of water from his uh, amphibious looking mouth um, I oh. need Path to make a DC 16 dexterity save cool. will do will do um, as I'm seeing that it's water I'm guessing it's a spell can I hit him up with that counter spell as a reaction it is not a spell Lord. All right. What do I got to do? Deck save? Oh, sorry. 16. Sorry. You... No, it's not a spell. Yeah, sorry. It's 16 DC save. Yeah. Uh, a, a 16 DC save? Yes. Yeah, DC 16. What's a DC? Uh... Oh, de uh, dexterity. A dexterity, yeah. okay. Sorry, my bad. It's all good, Holmes. <sighs> Give it to me, baby. Oh. So as... Uh, you... Uh, uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to toss a lucky at that. You're going to toss a lucky at that? Oh, shit. Yeah. Does that mean you re-roll? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, roll away. Yeah, I can just hit the reroll, so I will do that. Did not care for that at all. <laughs> uh, you won't like it, what's coming at you if you fail it. Ooh! I, I'm going to go ahead and not fail it then. I've marked uh, down that lucky. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't, okay. I didn't think I was going to like it. You, um... You see the the stream coming as you keep your eyes focused on your shot. You manage to roll out of the way of it. Um, it still glances off you. Oh. Um, it, uh, yes, I'm using a calculator for this, everybody. That's fine. I know math neither. Jesus Christ, look at that. Jesus Christ! That's um, it's thirteen. You take thirteen damage. Even my calculator is failing. You are. <laughs> um, as the 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 stream, but you manage to stay on the turret, um, and you can tell that if you got if you were to take a direct hit, you there's a chance you'd be going overboard. Gotcha. Um, so we fly back to the list order. Donatello. 
You've just seen the creature make an attack at uh, at the boat. You are on the deck as well. What do you do? Okay. Uh, how are these distances accurate? Like, is that thing 45 feet from me? Um, yes. Okay. Um, how large is this thing? I have 40 movement feet or 40 movement speed. If I run and jump off the deck, <laughs> can I get within attacking range of him? I will say yes. Okay. Um, so I've still got this rope tied to me. Um, how long are the ropes? Ropes are 50 feet. Which side did you tie it on? The left or the right? This uh, the left. It, so I... Because my character's over here, I'll say it would be on the... Oh, that's the marker. Like, on yeah, somewhere on this side here. Okay, yeah. You, you'd be <laughs> able to make the attack at it. Okay, sweet. So I will... Uh, go into a rage. Okay. Uh, how do you... So with fall... I don't know how it works with fall damage, because when you fall, you go prone, right? Unless you can do an acrobatics to get out of it. Is that how it works? Yeah, I'm like, I'm flexible to whatever you're, you're thinking. Okay. Uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out if I can jump off the deck and not just, like, fall right on my face in front of this thing. Sure. Embarrassing. Okay. A little bit, yeah. So I'll yeah. go into a rage. I'll uh, I'll sprint off, and jump overboard, and try and do an acrobatics to take less damage, or just not go prone. Not uh, go not, prone, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I'll let you. Um, I'll let you roll for it all. If you can do the acrobatics, you've got the the help of the rope. Maybe the the slack of it can you can sort of time it. That uh, um, okay. Well. It's an eleven. Okay, I, so I'll say I'll say that you don't go prone, um, but you'll still take some of the damage. Oh shit! Okay. Um. So thirty feet up. Yes. Are you rolling it? I can, unless you want to. Just I'll just throw it out right there. Rolling three d six. You take shit twelve damage. Okay, Ouchie. so I'm gonna I'm gonna take half because of the rage. Yes, nice work. Take six damage, and then uh, I will attempt to knock this thing prone. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Go right ahead. All right. Sorry, I gotta get a. So it's a nineteen. Uh yeah, you are going to do. do, do, do... Yeah, totally. Okay, uh, do I still have my second attack or no? You've jumped, which is part of your movement. You've attacked. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with you making a second attack. Okay, bite this thing. Bite away. <laughs> oh shit, I crit on him. Oh shit. Okay, so the way... L low. The way we do crits on this, Nolan, is that mm -hmm. you max your your original damage, and you roll again to see how much you add onto your max, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah. So, um, 1D. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay, so... Um, it's that four plus five plus another four, so thirteen damage. Nice. Uh, yeah, this thing this thing doesn't really have a um, a face so much, or a, like a like skin. You can tell it's a little bit more water than what you originally thought, but you still do a fair bit of damage to it. But it, even as you grapple it, it feels strong. Mm -hmm. or, or as you push it. Okay. What would you like to do next? Or is that your turn? That's me, yeah. Okay, Dathrenor, you're on the crow's nest. Ah. Uh, I would uh, attempt to quickly get down from the crow's nest with a rope. I... How high is the crow's nest? It's about 20 feet from the deck. And so you said you can roll out of the immediate damage with athletics? Uh... Yes. 
Could I potentially get out of there with athletics? Because that's you, if I can do that, I would want to try and do that. You may. The save is higher than it is if you're doing acrobatics. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try that because I'm an idiot. Uh, I made a precedent for jumping out of the crow's nest a couple games ago. That is not going to be good enough. Okay. Uh, how much damage do I take? Uh, I will roll it right now. You're going to take five. Okay. Uh, but I'm on the deck. Uh, is there a rope that people use to get out of there? Where are they jumping to? There's the ladder to get down, and then there is yeah. the... Um, the, the There's the rope that's attached to Donatello. Uh, if I grab onto that rope, is it going to yank him, or am I going to be able to... Is he going to anchor... He's he's he, he's a big dude. Like you would. Yeah, I'm very heavy. I'm 450, I think. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. heavier than me. So I would attempt to swing down on that, uh, and use him as an anchor. Okay. Uh. What does that do for me? Well, my rolling to get down there on on his rope back. <laughs> you um. Hmm. You can roll. It might just be straight dexterity. Or, no, I, we'll do it. Let's, yeah, this one will be in acrobatics. Okay. Whoops. That's what I want to see. There it is. Nice. There it is. On the way down, can I ready a fucking hot action to just swing into this guy with? Get yeah, definitely. Fix so that, nat, that nat, okay. nat 20 will let you do that. Yeah, I'm going to uh, use Booming Blade. It'll be an advantage to you because he's prone still. Oh. Hi. Oh. Me. More. Uh. So yeah, I'm going to use uh, Booming Blade. So that'll just be my normal attack, and then if he moves, and then before my next turn, then I he takes a 1d8 damage, thunder damage. Oops. Boom. Sorry, so just... Boom! Can you... Does he do that now, or can you just remind me when that happens? I can remind you when that happens, if he moves in the next turn, uh, but I don't want to roll that yet. Uh... I would roll, because it's a melee attack, I would roll my melee attack, I believe, at advantage. Uh, let me roll it again. Probably take that. There 19. we go. That'll be a hit. Okay. Oh, close to critting. So close to critting. If only nope. he was hexed. Oh, yeah. That, that's what I was going to ask. Um, so that, no, he was not hexed. That's a total of uh, seven, or is it seven plus nine? Uh, that would be 7 plus 9, because that's, yeah, the 9 is the 2d8, and then the 7 is my normal. So you're looking at uh, 16 damage from my first attack, if I get a second attack, with all that other shit that I've done. Was all that other shit movement? Do I get my uh, second attack? Yeah, but you got the nat 20, so I'm inclined to reward that, so roll, roll a second attack. Oh, here we go. Uh, just at normal, right? Yes. No, it's still he's still prone. Oh, okay. So add advantage. Uh right. well. neither neither that second attack none will hit. Okay. Really? Uh well we'll take that. That way I'm on the ground at least. That was successful in my idiot brain. <laughs> um oh, fuck. You hear, <laughs> you hear um, the that awful oh, from the it. from the uh, the ocean. It sounds closer. <clears throat> um, David Letter, back back to you. All right. Uh, so is that creature that? So if it moves, is that a good thing or a bad thing for us? That's a bad thing for us. 
don't want it to move. Wouldn't be great. No, it's getting closer, and it's a it is a great beast, and we do right. not want to be here if it catches up with us. Why and couldn't we take it and fight it? Dapper, uh, you feel free to stay behind. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm fine. I think I'm done with it. I'm done with this line of questioning. I want to cast a uh, hold person on it. Is it humanoid? Uh, the arms and legs, apparently, right? Yes, but you can try. Okay. <laughs> I'm confident, are you? I gotta try to cast this. <clears throat> um, yep. How do I cast? I just put it in the slot, right? You gotta, you gotta click the the. Oh, uh, they need to make a wisdom saving throw. So, so Pat needs to do something. Uh, but you need to mark off the spell slot. Ready. Let's cast. Um. So as you cast it, um, you can tell that the spell lands on your target, and nothing happens. Ah, uh, a person well, to be well. held. It's um, it's not a person. Lordy, lordy. Is that for you to decide, Pat? <laughs> I think it is. I think it is. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, David Letterman, are you doing anything else? Grasp of the Deep is something I can do as a bonus action as well. I will Grasp of the Deep this trip. Cast it again. And, uh, so are you casting a second spell? It's a, a bonus action. Is it a cantrip? It's not a cantrip. Can I... It's a cantrip? It's not a, it's not a spell. It's his, like, feature. Oh, it's his ability. Yeah. Sorry, you're right. Go ahead. Go ahead, Brian. Because it, it would be a bonus action. Okay, so Grasp of the Deep. We'll... Again, Tentacle Last for a minute. And... I will get a ten foot long tentacle with at that creature. Uh, like from the ground? Yeah. Yeah. Rock and roll. And so I do one D eight of cold or lightning damage on the hit. If I hit You uh, you have to make the attack, right? Yeah. Or does it let me set it out again. And I create the. I, I create the template. I... Go ahead. Sorry, I'll pull. I'll pull up your. Uh, shit. It's a. It's a feature. Yeah. Grasp of the deep as a bonus action. You create a ten foot long tentacle within sixty feet of you. You can make a melee. Yeah. So you have to make a melee spell attack with it. So that's a and D20 plus your um, your spellcasting modifier, which looks like it's a plus 8. Which is very good. Nice. Nice. Then I roll the the, the other one, right? Yeah. yeah. What is it lightning or cold? Ooh, I want it's. I feel like I want to freeze it, so I'm gonna go with cold. Okay. So one d eight. The d eight. That's an interesting eight. Um, <laughs> you see, uh, you see, as the spell latches on or the the tentacle slaps the uh, the creature um, it seems to absorb the uh, the tentacle in a weird way and it doesn't seem as effective 
<laughs> Fuck you, creature of my deep. <laughs> Path, it's your turn. <clears throat> can I okay. move? Can I move? You, you can move. Um, you get 30 feet, so you can move into the building if you want. I'm going to go into the building. Yeah, for sure. Oh, is that the fat? That's the old lady right there, eh? Yeah, I've just... She's Martha. <gasps> I'm going to yell Martha as I run it. Martha! Martha! John. Path, what, what's your plan? All right, so I'm on the boat. Okay, I'm going to... Hey, this worked really well last time. You know what? I got a second shot. I'm just going to fire up my ballista right here. Donatello, you aren't on top of him, right? No, I just shoved him down. Gotcha. Uh, so... you, may make your, you may make your attack. 1d20. Right. Disadvantage, though. At disadvantage, because it's prone. Yeah. Nolan, you're all over it. Sorry, that is, that yeah, is true. Yeah, I'm just like fucking up everyone's day. That is true. Right? <laughs> no, Nolan reminded me of a rule where if the character's on the ground and a ranged attack uh, is made. Um, yep. It's at disadvantage. Even though you're on a turret. I want to see if this. Uh, Even though he's in the sky and it's just like a flat target for him. <laughs> yeah, it is a big target. Uh, these are, uh, these are um, the, no one's rules. Like, we, we can't deviate. From <laughs> right. As it is written. <laughs> How do I? The the the, the rules of the Nolan verse have spoken. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's nice. How about this? Both. All right, hits. twenty-four. Holy oh, shit! Yeah, you can uh, roll your damage. Oh, 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 oh. that came in. That evened out. <laughs> uh, all right. That evened out. That's a. That's twelve. Lord above. Okay. Uh, you see it take the damage. This thing has has just taken a beating, and it still looks ready to rock. <laughs> um. All right. With a bonus action, I'm gonna throw some bardic inspiration uh, to uh, Donatello. Yep. Uh, and that's a that's a one d eight on any ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Oh, right. DM inspiration thanks to Jay. Uh, we, all um, have, we all have DM inspiration. Yeah, uh, we have been neglecting then, that. That's just Jay advantage, though, that, right? Yeah. 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 It? yeah, you can use it whenever to impact a roll I do or a roll that you guys are making. Um, attack, saving, or ability check. Okay. That's good stuff. Um, so I'm going to move it to Tinkerballs. Uh, oh, sorry. I was just going to see um, if I can I so desire watch Jay Leno. Like I've never watched the late night show. Oh, we're back. Excellent. Hey, we're okay. good. Yeah, we're good. Um, I lost nice. you guys. I had I had too many Audacity programs <clears throat> going, but we've I've got mm -hmm. I, I'm able to record basically since I dropped off to where I I, I just said we're good. Um, I don't think we've really missed a beat, so we can we can continue. My apologies cool. about that. Let, let me um, pull up the important windows again, and we're back at it. I love it, guys. This is what we do. This is what we do, okay? We respond. We persevere. We overcome. If we're not the comeback boys, I don't know what we are. Oh, Fuck yeah. <laughs> comeback boys. Fuck I love yeah. that whole string of... Uh, hold on. Can you can you like insert a sound moment of like just like massive cheers at the end of that? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. For the, for the yeah. podcast, that'd be great. Hundred yeah. percent. I will definitely. Do well, that. Leno's a hack. Leno's a hack. He knows his Monica Lewinsky. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking hack. We're going Brian, way back. Brian, Brian, come in and hot do. with the uh, Leno takes uh, so long after we were talking about him. I was peeing so at the time. The at the time. <laughs> yeah, and, we're going uh, way back here. Okay, so path, path, you're on, um, you're on the deck. 
you're in the ballista. Um, it's got a, its second shot loaded. If you take the shot, it has to be a disadvantage. Go. You're up. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll take a I'll take a rerun at that. So I'll. Uh, we did do that. Uh, do you want to just rerun what actually happened? Y- yes, just for continuity's sake. Sorry, you hit Absolutely. a. You hit a twenty-four. You did twelve damage on it. I recorded that. What else would you like to Great. do? Great. Uh, so then, um, what I'm doing is uh, uh, moving um, from uh, the now spent um, a large ballista and moving uh, forward in the boat, so away from the monster to the uh, the smaller crossbow that's at the front of the ship. Okay, sounds good. Um, I also uh, tossed some sweet bardic inspiration at. Um, the no weapon having Donatello. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, Tinker balls. This, the timber beam is still on your mother. How's how's my mom looking after that healing word? Good. Or, uh, good good here, to me. Here. Yeah. Jesus. Sorry. Good. It's still getting crushed. Yeah, still. <laughs> no, no, no. But like, but but is she a little bit? Is she a little bit more like uh, aware of of her surroundings? She still, she still, she knows that they're that, that you, her son, are helping, are, are assisting her, and and another stranger has come in. But it seems okay, like you, I, you mean well. I have no idea if this will work, but I'm going to use a fourth level spell to cast uh, uh, freedom of movement, nice. uh, and I will post that for you. I'm just going to basically like uh, kneel down and say, "Hey, let's, uh, let's get out of here, right?" This is what that is. Uh, so the main thing that I'm thinking about it is the target can spend five feet of movement to automatically escape from non-magical restraints such as manacles or a creature that has a grapple. I figure a beam is kind of like a grapple. Oh, that's the the music is just perfect for this because you are right. <laughs> you use your brain and, to save your mother. <laughs> and I, I, I say, let's let's get out of here. And I, yeah. So I, I, uh, uh, I grab her hand and uh, wait for her to move. I think and I love this theme more than I like these movies. She, <laughs> <laughs> she takes it's her so hand and she, and she says, "I knew you'd come for me." Um, and then you guys can leave the building if you want. Uh, I look at. Uh, uh, David Letterman, who has just come in, and I, I kind of like nod a, a, a thanks and say, uh, uh, "Let's blow this joint." And and uh, throw uh, a pencil at him. There's nothing. I'm assuming there's nothing significant in the building beside my mother, but I, I don't even fucking care. So I'll just run out of the building. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll we'll, we'll 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 run outside, and and I'll say, uh, "Hey, uh, there's a there's a rope ladder. Run for that ship." Perfect. Uh, it is the Marid's turn. Uh-oh. I don't like that you gave it a name this turn. Rid. He moves, remember? Back. He takes 1d8. Can you retcon its name to be uh, uh, <laughs> nameless? It's, oh. uh, it's technically not a name. It's a, it's a type of creature. I don't even... I don't want to know that. And as you it's know? as it's on the ground, um, uh, uh, Donatello and Dathrinor, you you see it in front of you, and then you don't see it as all at all as a fog um, envelops the area that you're in. Those of you that are looking at the the monster uh, can see it. Um, rise out of the fog um, completely and come level to the the ship. It levitates. So uh, it moved under its free will so it takes 1d8. I don't want to shout that but it does that. Yeah. Uh, roll. Do I do I roll for that? Uh, uh, no, uh, perf- first I one. Would. Yep. Sounds good. If it's um, doing that I, shit, that's not going to matter. So I, I'm just <laughs> jerking my own dick about that. Nice. 
Hey, mom. Um, the uh, <laughs> Aww, sorry. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Um, the <laughs> it it's rate it's it's now level with the ship. Um, I believe because it's in fog, you, Donatello and Daphne, or you guys don't get an attack of opportunity, correct? Uh, I don't know. Sounds right, but yeah, I don't know. Because your your vision's obscured. Mm-hmm. I just need so, to see if that's how that reads. Um, you guys, we can always, um, unless you guys are going to restrain it with your attack of opportunity, which I don't think you really can. Um, we can just... Oh, yeah. Order. That you can see moves out of your reach. So if we can't see him, it doesn't matter. Um, Donatello, you are up for your turn. Okay. Uh, so when this thing went by us, uh, did I get a sense of, like, it moved by me? Or do I have no clue where it is? Uh, I'll let you roll for it. What do you think would be appropriate? Probably perception. Okay. There we go. That's uh, a nat one. Oh. <laughs> you, you did the Lord. It, it, it moved next to you. Make uh, make an attack roll. Oh, if you hit me, I swear to God. Oh, oh my God. You. I've got part of inspiration. <laughs> Where are we at here? Right, so... To be, to be fair, you also have regular inspiration. That's true. That's, um, that's also true, but he, he moves forward. Okay, so then roll 1d4. Yeah. Wait, is that... Is that just rolling a d4? Uh, or is it just rolling 4? If you hit slash roll 1d4, 1D then you 4. would roll properly. It looks... Slash. No, you did that right. You did that right. Yeah. yeah. I don't... You gotta roll. Why do you keep rolling 4s, though? Because you're really good at it. I don't know. You're you're incredible at your fours and ones. Not that one. Uh Okay, so anyways, it would it would be a um it would be a twenty to hit. Uh, does a twenty hit your AC, Dathrenor? Uh yeah, oh yeah it does. You we'll take eight, eight damage. Uh, as... no, I don't. I'm gonna use uh, reaction fields because fuck that. So that boosts my <laughs> AC to twenty three. Okay. Uh, and I'm uh, sufficiently upset. <laughs> <laughs> so you you hear you hear just yeah you feel this like this attack from you from somewhere where you weren't expecting and you guys are yeah are, are kind of in it now. Um, yeah. Dathrenor, it's your turn. You get to respond. Uh, <laughs> I can't see anything. Not really. No. So I'm going to move. <clears throat> Uh, fuck, how can I separate this from meta? Um, if I can't see anything, I'm not going to push forward. I would I would fall back. I would fall back at least until I'm out of fog. How, how deep is the fog? Uh, it's... As certain parts, it's deeper than others. I can't. I, I don't really have a specific number for that. Um, but if you where want to I am, move, can my can my thirty feet get out of it? Is what I'm wondering. Uh, totally. Yeah, it could. Um, okay, because my my intention anyway. I'll let you know that is to move backwards after not being able to see forwards uh, to just get out of the fog. Yep. So I'm gonna get you to roll a d6. Uh, and no I skills. Will... No skills, just a straight d6. Okay, you move this way. I don't know what front and back is. Nope, you don't, because you're you've oh, been attacked. Come and, on! And, <laughs> and you use half your movement speed to get out of the fog. Okay, uh, can I see over the fog, or is it? You can't. Um, actually, let me double check that. Twenty foot radius spheres fog. It's twenty. Um, it it it's difficult. It it does obstruct your view in a pretty major way. Um, yeah. But you can see you can see to the, your peripherals that um, it is clear. 
It's but sort of I just can't. like a... Sorry, go so ahead. I've used, I've used how much? Um, Half. Half. Uh, I know I can't see... If I can't see the ship, I would look to see if I can see the ship. I would, that looks like half-ish. From here to there to there. Yeah, that works. Uh, That is 45. So if I can see him... Uh, I would cast uh, an, a spell at him because that's what I'm going to do. Cast away. <laughs> um, how far? Is this uh, grid accurate? Is he only 40, is he 45 feet away from me? Yeah, I'll say 45 feet is kind of the limit of its accuracy. And then after <laughs> between 45 and 90, it, it's give or take five feet and so on and so forth. So, yeah, that works. He's he's within forty five of me. I like that. Uh, within sixty feet matters to me. Is he within sixty? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I would first use uh Elder Blast. It's a cantrip. Yeah. Woo! You know what to do. I know what to do, and that's a fucking. That was a gnat, wasn't it? What? Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to toggle on that crit. Don't and get good. I'll, I'll use that. Ah, I didn't do it. Well, I need to roll it again, right? Because that was the. Ah, uh, no, the, the damage is max. Yeah, it's so a max plus three. How it works. Yeah. Oh, is it? Exactly. So you did, you did okay. 13 damage. Okay, 13 damage to him. Thanks. Uh. And then I would cast uh, Spiritual Weapon. As a bonus action? As a bonus action. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, game, let's go. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Ouchie. That's, that's going to be a miss. But your Spiritual Weapon is... Uh, I'm going to use uh, Lucky. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, and roll that again. Come on! It's gonna be another miss. Yep. I yeah. don't think I can reuse Lucky again, so that's just gonna be that miss. <laughs> Alright! Uh, we, we, <laughs> we, we'll put your hammer right here. It's gonna be on the ship, but and you've put it like kind of on the rail of the ship. Does that work? We're going to say it does. Uh, David Wait, Letterman, who? back to Who's you. hammer? Your hammer, your spiritual weapon. Left? Oh, building? sorry. I didn't know you were talking about me. Um, yeah, it would have been uh, as close to him as like what you think. If it was on the right of the edge of the ship, then yeah. That's good. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That works for me. Sorry, hammer threw me off. It Probably a sword. David Letterman, you're up. So am um, I out of the building, or am I in the building at this point? You're in the build building, but you've seen people leave. If I move, I can still do an action, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'll get out of the building. Um, give my full like thirty feet or whatever. What's that? Uh, do my yeah. full thirty feet of movement. Sounds good. Close to the creature, I guess. There. I'm moving to my guy to like here. Um, Not too far. Uh, that is uh, that might be a tad ambitious, but let me just. Uh, yeah, you could probably make it to like here. <clears throat> I'll go here. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna cast Mind Spike. This dude. I'll display it on the. Thing. Sounds good. What what save does he need to make? Wisdom. Of three, a wisdom, a wisdom save. A wisdom save. One wisdom save coming up. What's your modifier? 
Like what's the safety? See, oh, six wisdom six. Yeah. It's a wisdom sixteen. Or what's your save? Save DC. Yeah, my mine is sixteen. Uh, if it meets it, it beats it. Ah. Uh, so. So you are Euchred, friend. Yeah. So I can't do anything, right? That's it. Ouchie. Yeah, I'm outsmarting all of you. Uh. Feel my wrath. Uh. <laughs> You've moved, you've cast a spell. You can cast Eldritch Blast. No, you can't. That's an action. Never mind. I can do a bonus action, I guess, right? Yeah, but it can't be a spell spell. It can only be a cantrip or something else. Mine, mine Spike is a cantrip, so you can have a bonus action spell. So oh. Spike is a cantrip? Mine Spike was a cantrip, so you could cast a bonus action spell. I have Mine Spike in my, like... I guess yeah. I'm done. Okay, sounds good. We'll go to um, path. You you All are right. eye, le- eye level with the the beast. Oh yeah, yo. In okay. the face. So the uh, the beast is kind of on the railing. Yes, uh, it's floating close to it's, the railing. Uh, it's fucking floating, eh? Not great. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I don't think I ever gave you guys a good picture of it. Um, I would say that's that in, true. I'll can post you, that can in you just, Discord. Can you describe it? It's kind of like for a, the uh, <laughs> for the podcasting audience. <laughs> it kind of looks like a fish if it were human. But it's oh, not, you know what I've forgotten you the whole time. It's not humanoid. I wouldn't allow it. Hit me. Describe my dice rolls. That's okay. That's okay. Um, Path, what are you doing? All right, 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 all right. Oh, you know what? I have to. I have to roll something. Uh oh. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, I don't no. What? I don't like that at all. What no. Oh, no oh, the DM know. drops an oh fuck. Ninety nine. Get out oh. of here. Something else. Um. Okay. Okay. So we'll we'll put this uh, right at the beginning of your turn. Um. Path. Um. Okay. You hear extremely loud from the water, and you Bye. look. You look back to the um, the dock or the dock area, which is probably about a hundred feet or so, and the Tarask is climbing out oh, of God. the water. <laughs> Have to go. Be nine. Um, oh. All right, so so I am going to uh, to to uh, fire off my uh, my smaller crossbow here. Sure. Oh, that's a that's a nat twenty, uh, just on on the whether it hits or not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you do the damage to two d eight. Um, it's we're gonna max out the damage the other way. Uh, so I believe. So we're gonna have okay. So I believe this is gonna be correct. Oh, nice. Uh, oh. So uh, the two d eight max is sixteen. So and then a plus five on the uh, the actual roll gives us thirty three damage total. Thirty three. If I did that right. Yeah. Nice work. Uh, that'll uh, uh, so. Uh, uh, not really depending on what happens with uh, this creature. Uh, I just, I'm just i just going to bellow out, everyone needs to get on the ship now. <laughs> Everybody back on the boat. And then I'll probably kind of like look at Calder and just kind of say, prepare for a quick um, uh, 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 departure. Okay, so you give the, you give the action. We'll go to Tinkerballs. 
You see... I yell. Oh, yeah. sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no, you see, you see the uh, the Tarask has uh, has breached the water. Uh, I look up at this fucking thing near the ship, and I'm like, "What the fuck is this? And uh, who the fuck is this guy?" And uh, hey, it's coming uh, after me. Let's go. Uh, and I cast uh, Pull the Dead, uh, uh, which is a Wisdom 15 saving throw. Pull the Dead, yep. Yeah. Pull the Dead. Wisdom 15. Wisdom, fi wisdom 15. Meets it, he beats it. And then Zach Hyman is going to jump over the boards as a spiritual weapon. <laughs> uh, Zach Hyman jumps over the railing of the ship. Uh, what is my spell attack? Uh, Sorry. Seven. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a bonus. It's a bonus action. Told the Dead was a cantrip, so... Yeah, no, no, no. Sorry. I thought you were using Zach Hyman as, like, tie yourself to this rope. Pick me up. No, um, no, 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 no. He's, he's attacking this fucker. Uh, 18? Uh, that's gonna hit. Alright, what is spiritual weapon damage? <laughs> I haven't hit with it for so long. <laughs> I always miss. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it really is. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at the damage for it. D8 plus spellcasting modifier. Uh, just plus three. Okay. D8 plus three. It's gonna be eight damage, and I'm gonna say, "Ma, we gotta go," and uh, and I'm gonna run for the ship with uh, with my mom in tow. Uh, okay, the ladder the, the ladder is is dangling just out of your reach, but you think that um, in a turn or so it'll it'll be in a in a good spot. Um, <laughs> shit. Sorry, it is. Yeah, this thing, uh, this thing hears the, um, the roar, it looks over, and it fucks off. It's gone. It boots it. Flies in the direct opposite, uh, direction. <laughs> uh, that tells us everything we need to know. Uh, Donatello. Uh, okay, so, uh, I still have no clue what's going on. <laughs> so I'll try and uh, I'll try and exit the fog towards the party, I suppose, towards the ship. Uh, I don't know if I know where that is though. Roll a d12. Five. You get to you use about ten feet of your movement, and you hop out on actually the right side. Okay. Um, so I'm still twenty-five. So I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use a dash. And uh, I'll dash to the ladder and try to climb it. You said I used how much? 10? 15? 10. Yeah, 10. 10, so I still have 30 plus a dash is 40. Um, half that for climbing. So 30 okay. then plus 20 to climb. Yep, that works. Okay, so I'm going to get back on the ship. Nice. Nice to go. Um... Dathrenor. Uh, I would attempt to move towards the boat, but I my movement's only 30. I can't get anywhere near my rope. You can so. dash. You use an action to dash, and you double your movement speed. Oh, uh, you're right. Yeah, you might want to dash. Uh, yeah, I'm going to dash uh, to the rope. Um, and I'd probably have to use acrobatics to jump up onto it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that. Uh, you grab uh, you grab a hold. I did not roll acrobatics. Is the rope not within reach? Uh, Are you guys not moving? The is rope the, moving or is it no stationary? shit. Sorry, there is no rope there. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to just balance uh, a whole bunch of shit. So the rope there, was the rope, lap? the rope. The rope I'm... is st straight up tied to you, Donatello. 
Yeah, yeah, the the rope, but I, I thought, thought there was I a thought rope. I thought there was ladder. like a rope ladder. There is yeah. a rope ladder. It's not it's not level yet. Gotcha. Sorry. It's not and, so someone ow motherfucker kid. So someone would need to throw it down to us. So I then on my turn I guess I would have gotten here and then just like started yelling. <laughs> just someone uh, to throw the rope down to us. <laughs> well you you can still you can still climb your rope. Like the ship, if the ship took off with you, um, Donatello, you'd be fine because you're tethered to it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. But everybody else, they either have to use the rope ladder, which isn't on the ground yet. And I apologize because I'm I'm just like juggling a few things right now. Um, Dathrenor, you wouldn't be able to climb up on the ladder yet. Uh, yeah. Donatello, I'll let you climb up your own rope if that's what you so choose. Uh, if there's no rope ladder, instead of that, I'd like to go to, like, the bottom there and then just basically hold my rope so that other people can climb it. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you, you, you pull it taut, taunt, or taut, and um, you, you're just, you, you're kind of anchoring yourself. Uh, sweet. So, Dathrenor, your your acrobatics check does actually make you climb the uh, the rope. Uh, okay. And you get, a bit, you get about halfway up. Um, okay. We've got David Letterman... Um, Martha and Tinkerballs. And I'm going to pull up the stat block for the Tarrasque. <laughs> no, yeah, you, you won't need it. We're leaving. Don't worry about it. Please, 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 please don't. <laughs> you, guys, you guys have to get up in the next <laughs> two turns. So we'll go, um, we'll go to path. Um, okay. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Uh, so I will run to the uh, large uh, ballista, which I believe is spent, yeah. uh, and I will. Uh, let me give me one quick sec. Let's take a quick peek. Uh, so the Trask is still about a hundred feet away. I uh, give or take between a hundred and two hundred. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so I will uh, I will run to the large uh, ballista, large ballista, and uh, uh, spend my uh, turn uh, reloading uh, the two uh, bolts. Yeah. Okay. And that's uh, yeah. I think that's uh, probably is where we at. I'll throw. I'm gonna throw a, a bardic inspiration at uh, Tinker Balls as well. Okay. Uh, Appreciate Path. you, Boo. Path, it's your turn. That was Path. Uh, sorry. Oh, I skipped David Letterman. My apologies, David Letterman. Hmm. Devastating. Everything that Path did on his <clears throat> turn will stand up, though. Far. Not from the like quickly you, could I get up? You could get up and you could probably get to the top of it. You could get on the ship if you use your action to dash. How far is the Tarask? The Tarask is within is very close on you guys. Like if you don't get up this turn, at the end of next turn I'm gonna have to start attacking. And that will be very quick and very deadly. Well, I'm gonna dash and get up on the then. Okay, sounds good. Tinker balls. You got Martha. What are you doing? Uh, got Martha. Uh, all right. And is the ladder down yet, or no? The ladder is down. You can. You. You'd be able to jump on. Uh, bonus action. Uh, ring of jumping, and uh, uh, and I. 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 Um, uh, I, I grab. Uh, very tightly hold of, of Martha and, and we jump. Okay. I will give somebody... Uh, oh, you just jump, eh? Are we... Well, I mean, I run to the ladder and then jump. <laughs> and I, I basically just... I just want to get onto the ladder. I don't care about getting onto the ship. I want to get onto the ladder. Uh, and I want to make sure... I want to... I want to can I? You you have to you have to skill check with the the strength check with uh, with Martha. 
with Martha? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Um, so you can does do a skill? Does a skill is a skill check is is my action, right? Um. Can I action guidance? <laughs> bonus action jump, and then like skill check, or is the skill check my action? The skill check is going to be your action. The fact that you're like picking oh, up okay. your mom is yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Make it, make it, make it. Ugh. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I'll give somebody an uncommon item. I'll give somebody uh, an uncommon item right now if they use their inspiration to get Pat to reroll. <laughs> an uncommon <laughs> item. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. A bag of holding. I don't even know what that is. It's good. Are you roll it, Pat? Oh shit! No. <laughs> Are you actually Jeff? You. Oh shit! Yeah, do it. I'm gonna use my inspiration to reroll. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you you grab Martha. That's a that's a that's a fifteen. <laughs> You, you, I, fuck, I'm gonna murder you, Jeff. Bag of holding, though. <laughs> that's, the, that's the big it's, thing. It's yeah, not you, even that, it's just a bag. It just holds stuff. You can it doesn't uh, do anything. You can equip that, you can equip that in your inventory there, Jeff. Um, <laughs> you, uh, you have your, your, uh, your mom, Tinkerballs, and you, uh, you're able to jump onto the ship, I think. Right in my in my brain, uh, I think that I should have been able to do it easier, but for some reason there was a lot of difficulty to Strangely, overcome. Uh, uh, it's just a strange amount of difficulty uh, overcoming that. God <laughs> damn it! Uh, yeah, no, I saved my mother, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, Donatello. Yeah, uh, I'll uh, I'll climb up the ladder. Okay. Um, as you climb up the ladder, uh, Dathrenor, you need to make one final um, save. Yeah. Because um, your your rope is, is shifting and everything like that, and it's uh, uh -huh. strangely taut. So make a, a strength check for me. Or... Oh, hold, hold, hold on. Is he still on the rope that I'm holding? He's in between you and the rail. You're safe. Like the ship, it taking off, you'll be fine. But he's yeah, yeah. But up. he's still on. He's still on the rope. Yes. That I'm holding taut from. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I'll uh, I'll continue to hold the rope taut, and then I'll ready an action for uh, when he's off the rope. I'll okay. start to climb the ladder. Okay, sounds good. So, uh, uh, it's not a saving oh, well. throw. It's uh, just a straight check? Uh, it is... No, it's it's a skill check now, because no one's not moving. Uh, you, Pat, okay. uh, Jay, what were you going to ask? Can I do anything right now, or not until it's my turn? Uh, not until it's your turn. Okay. Um, Deathnor just, he looks up and just lets go of the rope. Hold let's on. go? Let's go. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever, oh, man. Get the fuck out. <laughs> he then, like, he then... Dashes north. Ah! <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll put you. We'll put you this way. What? The, the... Um, the ship. The ship begins to rise, cool. and um, you, uh, Donatello, your your body is lifted up as you see Dathrenor bolt from the rope and back into the the ruins of the city. I'm just um, gonna let out that classic, like no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David, David Letterman, are you doing anything? Yeah, so we're rising to leave, right? Yeah, we're like going to go at a warp speed in some direction. Absolutely. As we you... rise to leave, yeah. Just before, like, we pick a direction to go, I cast darkness sixty feet behind us. Oh, okay. ass, like a snowflow. 
that the giraffes can't see us. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Fair. Fuck we go. Okay. Um. Pass. Uh. So I'm going to. Uh. How close is the giraffe? Uh. Now. It is on land fully, and it is coming. It, it is in like the adjacent area of the city. Uh, it will be here within moments. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Um, I, so I guess my question is, is it within uh, 90 feet? Yeah, it definitely is. Okay. So I will probably, I will, uh, I will uh, cast um, at fifth level a uh, hold monster. And so uh, the target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed for the duration. Um, it has no effect on the undead. At the end of each of its turns, the target can make another, another wisdom sa- saving throw on a success. The spell ends. Oh, man. Okay, so this is awesome. Um, I will just bring up the, um, the thingamabob here. Uh, where the fuck is it? Okay, uh, it will make a wisdom save. A wisdom save of 17. That's a big one. That's a big boy move. Absolutely. I will roll it in front of you. Uh, you think the spell takes its effect? And as you finish it, and complete it, you feel it come back onto you. And while it it doesn't affect you, um, you realize that the Tarrasque has through his own sheer will, rejected the consequence of the spell. Awesome. I will uh, yell at Calder uh, to go, go, go. (laughs) Tinkerballs. I mean, I'm on a ladder, right? You are on a ladder. We're climbing the ladder. Uh, I uh, I'm gonna. How how long is the ladder? It's uh it's ten ten feet, fifteen feet. Okay, I cast um. No, are you guys talking? I cast enhance uh. ability on. <laughs> Can you not yes. hear? Oh well. Why can't I hear Hello? you? Uh, fuck off, really. Yeah, I can hear. So, bit of an apology on my end. Um, as you may or may not have noticed in the episode itself, uh, there were some sound effects issues and recording issues, and ultimately at the end of the episode, the very, very, very end, um the recording cut out so uh quick little update martha was saved uh as she uh um was dangling from the uh, the silver bullet uh donatello managed to grab her uh as she fell off the boat uh and dathrenor has made a decision to not leave with the group so strange and mysterious things continue to happen um but that's the episode this week once again uh please 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 tell your friends and family about our podcast we uh we'd love we'd love to see more people uh come into our community uh hit us up on reddit green dragon brewing company uh that's our subreddit on twitter it's gdb company uh the youtube channel green Dra- green dragon brewing company and our email, surprise, surprise, Green Dragon Brewing Company at gmail.com. Spread the word about us on Breaker, Google Podcasts, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, and Spotify. Um, and I think that's it. So until ne- next time, everybody, uh, stay green.